Pinon Codon. Stepping out on all the Pinon Codons, there's a half foot step out, drop, and using the Koshi. Sink with the punch, the foot drops. Coming up and using this arm, this elasticity, and getting this out. I should be looking that way. Then drop. Use the the arm and the middle section to get the power. Not not power never comes from the shoulder in our katas. Feet are together there, right? Feet are together. And then this move is a little different. It's like we're going to have this again in one of the pinon katas. But you're not waiting till you get forward and do the, the block. The midsection is, is twisting as you get there. And then the block is happening. Uh, this is skimming the rib cage, And there's tension along here. that create, and So the elasticity attached to the this part of your arm and twisting is what makes makes that happen. The it's this part of the hand to this part where the muscle comes out. A little dip there, right there. It's happening. Can't really see it on film, but I'm doing it before I get there versus waiting till I get there. And I'm using the using the this torque right here. This setup is here. All setups are the same, with the palm up. We don't have any setup where it'd be like this, or it's always palm up and the one on top. What's going to happen is this gets priority, dominance, straight line over my knee. But if I was to do just this part of the move, straight over the knee. Don't dip your shoulder. Here. But this guy's in the way. so. What you don't want to have happen is a hop over that one. So this one has to back, has to go underneath. Somewhere around right here, it's already formed a partnership and this is glued together. This is, fist is orientated this way over the knee, but bottom one is what I call flat. Draw back, small circle here, connect at the wrists. You don't want to hop, so you need to put emphasis because of the timing on this coming back. Don't worry about this one. It basically just closes into a fist, like a one-inch punch. There. Is that a sink? Yeah. There. And don't walk too far forward. You're going to walk right to here where I just came level. Here was my, here's my nickel wash. You're going to stop right here, one foot forward. You have leniency one to one and a half foot forward when you take a step. But my point is, is this stops, this continues, versus coming to the front and lunging forward. So that way you can have Koshi. Koshi needs to come out and back. You can't just come out on this side. You have to have the recoil back for it to work. Foot, foot, and heels touch, relax, chest expands outward, here. The height is shoulder height right here, ever so slightly forward, right here. Hesitate, come out, and drop like we showed before in the other, other car. Here. So I'm going to turn the kata this way for the tension no kamai. It's quick. It needs a clear stop like Pasai does for the first move. I'll do it slowly though. Palm is down with about palm is down small space here. 
It's a little bit more forward here, unlike the Buddha's, the other one, the Kamai we just did. As soon as you're done, head flips that way. Here, you don't want to go low to high, so not that. It's Next move is one foot out. With that being, see how it lines up with my center axis? Axis. So when I'm here, when the foot's here, that's where I'm going to line up. Foot. Then coming around. Come around naturally. There's my center dropping straight down. So I'm dropping, I'm dropping straight down with tight here, back is up, and right to the center here. This is of course application back of somebody's going by back of their their leg. Your okay. So done. Trying not to shift like I just did in the back. I did a little bit, but no shift. When your left, right foot comes out, you can execute the walk. Here. Last move. You can use Koshi, even on these moves with the torso a little bit bent. Here inside. 